Hey guys, Tim Stump from Technique Peak. I just want to go over a couple of drills to increase quad activation. We all know the importance of re-educating the quadricep after surgery or uh, conservative pathologies. So once the patient is on the ground, okay, we're closing the proverbial chain, we still have to teach the quad how to work, all right, in conjunction with the other segments of the lower extremity. So one of the first things are is a terminal knee extension. So my foot's on the ground, I'm just activating my quad to push back. And Rob's gonna help me here with the rubber band. So you basically you put the uh, strap or the band behind the knee. I'm here, Rob's gonna put the sufficient tension and I'm activating my quad. You can use a little self biofeedback here by putting, having the patient put their hand on their VMO and activate the quad. I typically have them push down and hold for a count of three to six seconds, okay? Push down, activate the quad. Now, one of the issues here is if the quad isn't doing its job, you also have the effect of the gastroc and the soleus complex behind the knee acting to straighten out the tibia. So if you put it in an active insufficiency here, the gastroc soleus complex is put on slack and the sarcomeres really can't contract all the way. So by here, and having the person push and hold, five, four, three, two, one, push, contract, hold, five, four, three, two, one, they can actually feel a much better activation of the quadricep, okay? Now, when we start progressing patients to squatting and uh, step ups, you have multiple segments, ankle, hip, and knee working in conjunction. If I do a typical step up, let's do it without the band first here, and my quads are relatively inactive and I'm going up, I can overcompensate by using my hamstring and my glutes, the posterior chain, right? Obviously the person may bolt with the other foot, you try to verbally cue them not to, shift and lift, but the quadricep still may be getting a little bit of a free ride. So let's use that, that tactile cue here, and now we can use it on a typical step up. Same concept, shift and lift, and cue the person into activating their quad. Shift and lift, and they're doing an isometric contraction at the top. All right, boom. Try that with your patients, see what kind of results you get.